guys are doing great enjoying the music with me having fun this holiday it is christmas it is new year's whenever you're seeing me right now later morning night doesn't matter where you see me how you see me the fact is that we're here and we're alive thank you jesus thank you god with all this being said, I hope you guys can subscribe to the channel as well as stay tuned and clicking in the notification button as well so we can stay notified as to how much do I apply um, or upload every time. And I thank you all you guys for all your sweet comments, all of your sweet requests either here or over Instagram. I really appreciate it. I'm going to start getting ready right now as I speak. I'm going to use a pep start. Remember this icon has caffeine in it and it's just going to make me feel wide awake for under my eyes it also helps diminishing the dark spots or the dark circles around my eyes i also will be using the clinic pep start i will also be using the clinic iv i was like ah. uh, this is a clinic iv for fine lines and wrinkles that plumps your skin i'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this and so today I'm excited to tell you guys that for the longest time I have been eyeing this this set right here. This is a set created for Macy's. It's um, an eight piece of makeup brush set. It comes with a bag. I was using it already so um, I had to put it back for you guys. It comes with a powder brush, comes with a uh, blush brush, a buffing brush, comes with an eyeshadow blender, a highlighter, an all over shadow, a concealer brush, and an eyeliner brow pencil. So I'm very excited to tell you guys. Like I said, I've ha I had already put them in here. And I'm very excited because it's honestly really good quality. And it, not even the Smashbox that I got over my Black Friday, I don't think they, they have the same quality. And I feel like this ones didn't get as much rave. People were not talking about them. Um, they retail for $39.50. But they were on sale. Like, uh, when I got them, they were like nine, half off. They were like $19.99. And I would have to say that they are really, really good quality. Um, they look very firm. They look a little bit like, um, like a little bit kids makeup brushes but I'm gonna have to say that they are really really nice like to use them everywhere uh, they have like they have like those diamonds in them um, honestly they are really really good so I'm gonna just jump into uh, my review that I wanted to do with you guys today and for all of you guys that are a little bit either um, sick or have a sore throat just like I had it I'm gonna go ahead and invite you guys with a cup of juice we can always use vitamin C. So in today's video, we'll be using um, Even Better Glow. And this one will help me, my skin to be more glowy, so sheer coverage. Um, honestly, this is a really, really natural makeup that I'm gonna be using today, just because I feel like for this day, I just wanna be as natural as possible. And I'm also gonna be using the Clinic Pep Start. This is a Hydro Blur Moisturizer. This one, it's a moisturizer as well as a um, primer. So if you feel that that, that method on in your skin, it's because it has a primer built in the same formula. So it kind of smooths your skin, it suits, it's very hydrating. This one you can find it everywhere, including Macy's. There's also a uh, orange yellow one, only at Sephora, because it has an SPF of 20, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into uh, our next step, which will be the foundation. So we're just gonna go ahead and shake this one. It also, this foundation, Even Better Glow, also helps you even out your skin tone. So I'm gonna say that I really, really enjoy the light coverage. And I'm using the shade uh, in Cream Caramel WM98. I like this one because it gives me a very natural coverage, but it also gives me a natural like bronzy tone. So when I want to, I'm a little bit sick and my skin tone is not the same and I feel like I'm honestly inner dying because of the sickness. I have to say that I really, 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 really like to apply this one because it brings up more of a bronzy tone and it looks more natural. So with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and use the buff brush that I have in here, which will be this one. We're just gonna go ahead and blend this out. And I like the bristles. They are very, very soft. They don't feel very, um, like, you know, sometimes when you use a brush, 
or a brush head. It just feels for some reason a little bit um, fake. These brushes are good. I'm gonna say that I really enjoy them because they are very, very um, easy to use. They don't grab as much product, so whatever you're using, that's how much you're gonna um, use overall. And they grab the product and help you diffuse or um, apply it everywhere you need to. So, with, let's see. Honestly, I'm not I'm not upset about the Macy's products lately. I really love the beauty blender that they had, or beauty sponge. I also love the fact that it had a like a like a container where you can dry out the beauty blender. It was only five dollars. And then, like Macy's, I feel like it's stepping up the game in so many ways. And you guys gotta check it out, like today. <laughs> Um, so this is what it looks like. Does that make any sense? I'm just gonna go ahead and use a spray on top of this because why not? And then this will be the Mario Badescu. This is the Chamomile Lavender. We've also talked about this one. Just to make sure it refreshes my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and use now the highlighting brush. I'm gonna jump into the 24 karats of gold. This one will be the Jeffree Star palette. And I'm excited to bring this one because I feel like I haven't talked about this one so much. I'm gonna use, because I feel like a little bit um, more on the Jingle Bells all the way. I'm gonna use the uh, Liberace. I'm gonna see how much product it actually grabs. You see it? Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into here, my nose. I feel like you grabbed a lot. Okay, let's see. I feel like I can see it now on this one. Just gotta build it up a little bit more. Now, one of the reasons why I also like this foundation is because I can build on top of it as many times as I want, and I can put as many layers of powder, blush, cream blush, and it won't break. I was very excited for the longest time using my Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation, but I was really disappointed that I saw it breaking it when I was using a blush on top of it, and I was like, hey, I don't know. So since that moment, I stopped using that one. So. Do I look like a unicorn, like Omel? Am I pretty enough? I am. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use an Anastasia product as well. This one will be in a powder, like I'm a cream powder consistency. And this one is, um, I don't have the pomade anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one right here. Um, Cause we finished the, pom the pomade, so I only have a tester. That was given to us when we were in New York. And then for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of the this one right here, which is the um, brow pencil. It's very firm, very sturdy. I like it. Just gonna go ahead and dab it in a little bit. A little goes a long way, and I feel like I already, you know. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and jump in right away and brush it so it doesn't look like those are like Frida Kahlo eyebrows. I don't want them to look very, um, well, too late, right? It looks like, but when in doubt, blend it. You just gotta blend and blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this product right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it a little bit. It looks really nice, I like it. What do you guys think? So if I need more, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in with a little bit of more on the pencil. I 
Now, I'm not used to yet to do the concealer, but to make sure to raise that line. But I'm gonna start trying it out because I feel like I'm just doing more like natural ones, like realistic makeup tutorials, and I feel like I need to step up the game. What do you guys think? Yeah. This one looks really nice, I think. Once I put my glasses, it'll be like a hot mess. I think, um, do you guys agree that sometimes our worst judge is ourselves? We're the worst sometimes without, when it comes to ourselves. Like, we can treat ourselves like the worst ever. And we're probably not even halfway through what we think we are. Just gonna put my glasses because I can't see anything without my glasses. Just gonna go ahead and brush it. Okay. Those brows are growing fast, so I think I'm gonna train them pretty soon. So, so far I'm liking it. I'm also gonna use a powder brush. This powder brush, I'm gonna use it with the Tarte. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. This is a translucent powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and dab it. Just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit. Not a lot. And because this is sheer foundation, just gonna go ahead and make sure that it looks still sheer, but where I want it to look sheer. And these brushes, guys, you guys have to try them out because honestly, they feel so soft and smooth. Like, it's honestly unbelievable how much effort Macy's put on these brushes. And like, they feel really, really nice. Look. Looks more matte than sheer. So now what I'm gonna be using, let me be right back. So I'm back. Um, I'm gonna be using the Patrick Start from the collection. It says, I'm not blushing, powder blush duo. And I really like this one because it has like two different shades, like the blush and the, uh, and the, oh my God, the bronzer. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, brush right here. Even though I don't think it's the best, but I'm just gonna try it. So I'm just gonna see how much product I can grab. Just gonna dab it. I'm just gonna bronze that out in here. Like, I feel like it grabs the amount just the way I want it to. Like, these brushes, honestly, they were so good to me. Like, see how, like, it's just giving me, like, a natural coverage. And that's all I'm asking for. Pretty sure out there. Like, I was very disappointed with the Smashbox brushes, even though I still have them in here with me. Uh, and I don't know how I feel about them. But this one's worked great so far. I'm just gonna go over here. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look. We're gonna dance with Miss Dua Lipa and drink a little bit of juice because my throat is feeling a little bit sore. Now, I would love to know how you guys are having a great time with your family. What are you guys doing for Christmas? What are you guys doing? What are you guys cooking? What are you guys doing on New Year's too? And now I'm gonna grab the blush in here. Just grab a lot of it. And build it. I don't need a lot, so you can see it in here. Perfect. Now, one trick that someone very smart who is called Omel, who is the love of my life, um, taught me a long time ago. It said, for men, 
or for anybody, for women too maybe, if you guys are up for the challenge. What I like to use is a little bit of the bronzer to give a very natural look at my eye. So what I'm gonna be doing, is so I'm gonna grab this uh, shadow br uh, blender brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it over here on the corner. And then just build it to where I want it to be. Just to give me that warmness or that warmth that my eyes need sometimes. It's so hard to see it. You know, and if you're new to when it comes to makeup, don't be afraid of trying makeup. Like I myself don't like to put labels on me. I don't feel like I am a makeup artist. But if that's your goal, work for it really hard and practice, practice, practice all the way. One of the coolest thing that I, one of the coolest things that I like about my job personally is to see other people and how they do their own like techniques. I like to learn from them. Most of the times they don't realize how much I have learned from them, from the practices, because I feel like honestly it gives you such a good idea, such a good technique, comfort, and a lot of the times you're not comfortable with yourself when it comes to makeup. Um, I started learning how to do real makeup on people about two years ago. It had always been uh, one of my dreams, and my partner pushed me to do this. He's like, if that's what you truly want, I'm gonna go ahead and support you. So I went ahead and I was like, okay, we'll, we'll try to do the best, you know? Obviously, um, not everything is easy in this life. Not everybody has make it, made, it, made it easy, but I put my five cents and I, I've got my coin back. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray a little bit more of the Mario Badescu. This looks a little bit too much for me. Just gonna go ahead and blend it out a little bit. We're gonna use this one right here. So make sure I blend it. See how pretty it looks? Like boom. Like it looks very, very good. Honestly, you guys, I highly recommend you. If there is some Macy's around you, or there is a way that you, can, you guys can get your hands onto these brushes, those brushes are so good. They have really good quality. When you clean them, the bristles don't come off easily. I've when I when I washed for the first time my brushes with the Smashbox, I felt like they were horrible. Like there were bristles were already coming off, and I was not happy about it. You know, you spend your money and you want products to be delivering all the time. But this one's nothing comes off. Grabs product and then they are very easy to use. They are very customer friendly um, and everybody's friendly. Um, I'm like myself, I put a little bit of tape on top of it so I know those ones are mine and I like to use them a lot. Now, from the ones that I tried today on this video, this is the only one that I had a hard time using and I feel like it was because it was not grabbing as not as enough product. The bristles were a little bit loose, whereas the other ones were a little bit more firmer. They were more dense like you can definitely feel that it's a hard brush like it's a very well quality brush made i honestly really like them um i wouldn't know why people are not talking about them but i would definitely recommend you if you're looking for brushes or to build your brush sets this is really good to try on with all this being said guys i hope you guys like this look so far this one i would call it like um like a great god and I would say that it looks really, really good. I like it. I like the highlight. I hope you guys like this palette from Jeffree Star 24 Carats of Gold. If you guys want to see more makeup, let me know. I will be more happy to bring it over and see and show you a little bit more how I do my makeup on a daily basis. And with all this being said, guys, subscribe to the channel and make sure we say, you know, tune in. With all this being said, goodbye, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays and Happy New Year.